Hello, welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. My name is Pat, and in today's video, we shall be growing chili peppers hydroponically from seeds. There are so many varieties of chili peppers. In my area, our common chili is a variety called Siling Labuyo, which is a small chili pepper. And it has a heat ranking of 80,000 to 100,000 units in the Scoville scale. The Scoville scale is a measurement chart to rate the heat of the peppers or spicy food. So, let's start growing chili peppers. I'm getting my seeds from this chili pepper I bought from the grocery store. Once you remove the seeds, just place them on a napkin and let it dry for a day or two. Then sterilize the moist cocoa peat medium by either microwaving it for 3-5 to five minutes or by pouring boiling water. Once the cocoa peat has cooled, squeeze out the water. Place the moist cocoa peat on your seedling container and spray it with treated water. Then, get your dry chili seeds and distribute them. Spray them once more time with treated water and cover them with cocoa peat. Spray the cocoa peat one last time. I like to place a plastic lid on top of the coco peat to help retain its moisture and I also like to place weights so that the seeds get pressed onto the moist coco peat. Then I place the container inside a box so that the seeds can germinate in darkness. My chili began to sprout on the seventh day. Place the seedling container under the lights, about 2 inches below the lights. Bottom feed the seedling container with your treated water, about an inch high. The goal is to keep the cocoa peat moist but not drenched, so I usually water every 2-3 to three days. When you see a third leaf appear, you may now bottom feed with your nutrient solution. I'm using a nutrient solution called Master Blend, and this is the formula I'm using for the chili peppers. I also made sure that I kept the pH level at around 6. On day 23, when the seedling is around 3 inches tall, I decided to transplant around 6 seedlings to their own net cup. The net cup I'm using is an 8 ounce plastic cup where I made holes in the bottom using a soldering iron. I fill the net cup with cocoa peat, dug a hole in the middle, and transfer the seedling. To hold the nutrient solution, I'm recycling a food jar which I wrapped with aluminum foil to prevent outside light from passing through and creating algae inside. And since the roots are still short, I fill the food jar up with nutrient solution until it hits the edge of the net cup to keep the cocoa peat moist.
When the roots are plenty and long like this, the nutrient solution can be filled much lower so that there is an air gap. The top half of the roots are exposed to the air, while the lower half of the roots are drinking the nutrient solution. This method is called the Kratky method, which I use for personal gardening inside my bedroom and patio. Chili peppers love full sun. You can continue to use your indoor LED lights, but in my case, I will be placing the peppers on my windowsill, which gets afternoon sun. Don't forget to check every two to three days the level of the solution and refill when necessary. I love coming home from work and seeing these chili pepper plants flower. On day 93, the chili peppers are ready for harvest. For my variety, I can harvest them when they're green, or if I wait for another 20 to 30 days, they'll ripen to a color red. So there you have it, growing hydroponic chili peppers from seeds. Thank you for watching Journey to Hydroponics. Till our next video, bye-bye.